Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, I'm going to show off a really cool red versus blue King of the Hill timer that Tarek designed. Let's do it. Today I wanted to show off this prototype that Tarek has been working on for a while. He approached me with this uh, cool design that he had come up with for King of the Hill. There's uh, the Blaster Tag Association initially had needed some timers and this was uh, his first concept for a solution. And it is essentially like a red versus blue chess timer. Uh, the King of the Hill game, the way it works, there are three sets of timers and you hit your timer or the other opponent's timer. Um, and this was just a really great simple solution to it. Um, probably not super simple to put together no. initially or, or figure out and design but a really, really neat solution. Now the King of the Hill games, the BTA league, did end up uh, with some other timers made by, uh, Mitch. by Mitch, and they are epically cool because they talk to each other and they're a mesh network, so they're a little more advanced. Three, two, one, begin. Go, 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 go. But this still, I think, could have a really neat place in a variety of game types. So do you want to talk about the operation and how it works? Yeah, so this is BTA specific timer, but the idea was that when you hit the timer, it would start counting down for each one, uh, for each side, and when that timer came down, it would start the six minute clock. And then this, as you mentioned, chest timers, we use magnets to give that like a feedback that you get a good click on it, and you can see the timer going down. And one thing we noticed is there's times where you need to pause a game for whatever reason. So we added these buttons on the side, but if you press one button, that might happen by accident. So we made it so you can you smack two buttons at the same time, it'll uh, flash as you see there and then that will pause the game hitting them again reset the game with whatever team was going for it so this is a pretty straightforward <laughs> design trying to get it in the profile i mean this seems a little bit big but that's because of the arduino board when, when we always first prototyping something we make arduino board and eventually mm -hmm. we would like to be able to do a, like a custom circuitry for it but um yeah first thing i always do is i always test out the circuitry to make sure that my idea works um, and then after that, I check out what the box is in the field. This design is a little more finished than your average prototype might be, but Tarek wanted to get a feel for what the, the actual final product might look like. So this one is a little more polished than it might be normally. Inside this timer is an Arduino, and Tarek also did all of the coding for that. Yeah, I always try to get a good feel for how tactile feels when you press something so like you can see that there's that snap to it mm -hmm. and it's always important when you're making any kind of item that there's a good tactile feel for the individual using it so that's why i always aim for so i always separate my problems one is i always get the circuitry working first and then the second thing is how do i get that feel to work and then i figure out a package and i always 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 engineer it too small so and i always print and then i find i can't fit any of this <laughs> stuff so i actually have three of these timers and two of them i couldn't close correctly and then the arduino burned out because the wires touched <laughs> each other so if we actually open this up it'll be a mess inside but uh, otherwise yeah yeah i love the concept so these magnets have a really nice snappy feel it's really obvious when you've got your side down there's no thinking about it because they're color coded you know unless you're like say drac and you're colorblind that's a whole different problem but uh i think these have would be really great for a variety of games. I know a lot of clubs out there use uh, like chess timers or they use the triangle timers or the cube timers. And a lot of those timers, they're really expensive and they aren't, they're not very conducive to play style either. They require you to pick them up, figure out your color, put your color up or a triangle. I, I remember multiple times we had these triangle timers where you put your the triangle with the flat side up for your color and it has to sit in a special yeah. stand and the stand would get knocked over and then by it, the it, time you flip it you die because you're too busy trying to figure out what your color is and then you don't get any time from it yeah and so i really think that these would be amazing for a variety of game types so it has been a concept that maybe sometime down the road we'll figure out a way to make these uh economical and make them compete with those really basic timers that are available on amazon like the cube timers that run for i think those things are 50 bucks and yeah. For our hobby, I think that's too much for something that doesn't even work as well as what we could make for our own purposes. So I was really excited to see this and see where it went. Um, here he's got one of the parts. These are kind of an innovative little way he made the slide. These interlock together. They have one rod in between and then you've got a nice little rocker switch with magnets mounted on the bottom that really lock it, giving it that nice tactile feel. I was trying to make sure, because you needed some way to indicate colors, but you can't print this together in one go. So that was this idea of like, can I 
separate that print. And this is a fun experiment to do, printing from this angle. So if you, you know, you can see that these were printed like this, no supports, and they interlock quite nicely to them. And you know, we were talking about when we talk about making this before, we were talking about injection molding, right? Yes. Yeah. We always start with 3D printing, see how it feels. Does it work? Can we minimize it? What can we do to it? And then, and then you know, this is a two variant player, but most there's some three time, three player, yeah, uh, three team variants mm -hmm. that we might want to go for. Yeah, and uh, you know, speaking of injection molding, that's obviously a direction I'd like to take the business. For some things, there are some major costs there, but a product like this, because of its size and needing to be a certain size so that you can hit this in the heat of the moment, yeah. um, it's just. This isn't really a feasible 3D print. This is a huge print. I mean, what was that? 15, 20 hours or something yeah. for the shell? It's it's too many pieces, too large, and too much assembly in the current version. So we would probably look at scaling this back and making a custom timer that works specifically specifically for our hobby. So what I'd love to hear from you, first of all, hit that like button because it definitely helps me out. But what I want to know from you is what features would you like to see from a timer for your games and what kind of timers are you currently using at your games if you're using timers i think these could make for a lot of great king of the hill games whether it's one point or multiple points and i'm you know hoping to check this out at a future game and actually get to play with it because right now we use flip timers or literally people we currently play this game where two people yeah. have you know a, a ref essentially has two timers and they you tell them what color you are and they change it and that could basically be replaced with this either static on the ground on a shelf on a uh, piece of cover or in someone's hands if it's this mobile uh, game we play this great game style i cannot even remember the name of it but it's basically you have to catch your timer because it runs around <laughs> so it's sort of like battle for the moving timer that um you know where that uh non-player character is sort of having a uh, blast just harassing you and running around Thank you so much for watching. I love sharing projects like this, even if they aren't a product on my shop. I love seeing how other designers tackle problems and solve uh, design issues and challenges. This is a really unique solution to printing two colors and having them work on a rocker, rocker style switch. Let us know what you think in the comments and until next time, I'm out of darts.